Man, I mean, uh, what are you looking for when you're thinking of new games to buy? And, and it's, like, it's Dragon Ball on the menu. D will the game make me feel like a badass? Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, I love games where I could just, like, beat the hell out of, like, you know, a character or an enemy and uh, in a very, like, stylish way. And I have a feeling that uh, this game might do exactly that. It will, not only will it make you feel like a badass, it'll let you create your own badass. You know, create, <laughs> oh, nice. customize, you know, customize the hair, customize uh, the visors, all that. Like, we have the, the, the just the generic time patroller in here just for the demo, but you're going to be able to customize that. You're going to be able to customize this combo, stuff like that. Sweet. Yeah. All right, uh, can you? Are you going to show us a little bit? Of I am. I was actually. I, wait, I was going to ask, man. What? Uh, what character did you want me to? Uh, oh at? man. Uh, I. You know. I, I don't know if I could go with one. Is the original Goku? Goku. Where's Bulma? Uh, Bulma. Uh, she'll be in the full game. All right. I'm just holding you accountable. That's all. How about Vegeta? Do you want? Do we want to do like Vegeta? Is that? Possible. We can do a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. How's that there, sound? That sounds amazing. Yes. Yes. The tightest pants, Vegeta. There you go. With no shirt. <laughs> shirt. <laughs> Hmm, all right, it. so if we're going to go with Super Saiyan Vegeta, let's go with the OG Goku then. There you go. Beautiful. Uh, stages, what do we got here? Now, you were let's... playing around on a stage before, and I think that stage was really helpful to show off all the, the vertical elements of the uh, game. Yeah, so, we'll uh, yeah that that's a world great. tournament stage. World tournament, nice. It's like a classic beatdown stage. Oh, yes. Well, and I think, you know, there's a lot of fighting games out there. There's a lot of ways to do it, but this really brings in the Dragon Ball element with how vertical you can get with how much you can play around in all the dimensions. So uh, it's my favorite thing to watch, you guys. I, I, you have a booth over here, and I think so many people, I'm sorry, I'm in the way of you trying to play the I game. know. <laughs> but I just see a long line. Everyone's so excited to get their hands on their favorite character. They want to mess around. They want to feel powerful. So how unique are each of these characters when you get into the game and you start fighting? Um, super unique. Depending on the character, they all have their own movesets. They all have their, you know, special special abilities. Like here, if I hold down the R2 trigger, you'll see the special abilities that I'm able to, you know, uh, execute. I, I should have got a little closer to execute that one, but I'll get him. I'll get him on the next one. Oh man, this looks like it would just be unfair. Like he's he's going Super Saiyan. Right, and this is OG Goku. I mean, it's not even a competition. I'm gonna whoop this guy. It's yeah. gonna be bad. This is episode one. Okay, you know? Goku needs some time. He needs to think about it. Charge up. He'll come back. And I love how, like, you're just not even touching the ground right now. It's like it's yeah, all it's about, like, an air around. battle. Yeah. So we're playing against the, the comm right now. And, I mean, does it does he sort of follow you? If you wanted to take this fight to the ground and, and make it sort of like a 3D fighter uh, that we're used to, will he follow you down yeah, there? definitely. I just like staying in the air just because it, it gives it that more it, cinematic view. It, it is, you know, Dragon Ball is all about, like, hopping up in the air, flying around, just beating the crap out of people there. Like, I hit Charged the ground up, right yeah. here. And, yeah, I can follow him down to the ground and play like a traditional brawler as well. Which I love seeing that, like, blasting him, like, into, like, the cement of the, the arena. Yeah, just the, the graphical detail is ridiculous, and the amount of stages that are going to be in the in the full version are it, are just mind-blowing. Yeah, so this is Xenoverse 2. What did you change from, from 1 to 2? What did you bring in? Just more customization options, uh, more levels, more stages, more story. Cool. Oh, that's what I was just going to ask everything. about earlier. So there is like a storyline that you can follow? Definitely, yeah. Okay. It's going to be huge. I mean, just there's going to be epic set pieces in, in the storyline. Any hints you can give us? Hmm. Damn. Just know that it's going gonna, it's gonna to en encompass all the different characters in the game and, and then some. Um, actually, speaking of which, that was another thing I wanted to bring up. Uh, we just announced Steve Aoki. DJ Steve Aoki what? is going to be an NPC in the game. What? Pretty, not part of the Dragon Ball universe, nice. but he made some like dope Dragon Ball remix tracks for us, and we decided to put him in there as a DJ. Oh, so man. where, where can we out. find him in the, in the map? Is he going to be part he's of the gonna story? He's going to be, uh, yeah, so he's going to be in Canton City. He's going to be an NPC. He's going to be a DJ in there. Wow. What a lucky and guy, I, dude. <laughs> mission accomplished. Took this guy down. Yeah. I, I mean, it. I didn't see him fight back, Demetria. Uh, I'm yeah, proud of you. Don't think I'm not proud of you. I got <laughs> skills. What can I say? I, again, it was, it was just not even going to be a match because, you know, like, Vegeta's going Super Saiyan. You know, Goku's just, what, what can he do? Like, right. It's such so show me your rage. customized character fighting. And, and can we take a look at how you built this Time Patroller? No, unfortunately for the okay, demo, there, there's no, uh, he's already pre-built, so we don't have any of the customization. But in the full game, if you played Xenoverse 1, it had a ton of customization already, and this one's even going to be more so. And it's not just, uh, as I mentioned before, it's not just like what he looks like. It's the combo set, it's the moveset and stuff like that. Excellent. So can we can... We can borrow them from kind of all our favorite fighters, you know, pick and choose their movesets, build my little dude, and exactly. marry Sue the hell out of this universe. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, one thing we haven't brought up yet is the release date. It's coming real soon. It's October 25th. Oh, wow. 2016th. I mean, it's right around the corner. That is crazy. October is just loaded with, like, so many great games coming out. Right? Uh, wow. So Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 coming out as well. Yep. 
So it's October, October 25th. We got a, a special edition coming out. If you pre-order, you get a bunch of DLC for it. Um, you get the, uh, I believe it's called the, the. It, it's a staff that you ride on. I, I can't remember the name of it off the time. I, it's like Tauntaun, Tauntaun. Oh, ta yeah, yeah, one of those words. But uh, if, if you go on the website, you're able to pre-order and you'll you'll see the image there. You get that. Um, you get this cool deluxe edition box. It, it looks amazing. I love the deluxe edition boxes. Yes. Look very good on my mantle. <laughs> Uh, let's check out some more battles here. Yes. I'm going to go with Trunks. I was wondering another, about... Another favorite. Yeah, one thing I wanted to ask about was, like, the mechanics with, like, the key and the stamina bars there. Uh, like, I was wondering, once we get into the fight, if you could talk about, like, how they work. Sure. Yeah, definitely. All right, where are we going today? Let's fight in hell. <gasps> there you go. I'll see you in hell, Trunks. All right, Time Patroller. Here we go. Show me your stuff. Bosses. I love this mode. So hopefully I'll be able to build my meter up enough to pull off some of those super moves. Yeah, the stamina meter uh, is what allows you to fire off different projectiles, do your special moves. Okay. And then your key meter, as it builds up, it, it opens up more moves for you to do. I just want to say, this is a very interesting take on hell. I would, yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, then. Not what I imagined it, it would be like. I thought way more demon torture, way fewer globules. I, I, I was just going to say, I feel like we're in, like, uh, you know, some kind of giant creature's stomach or, like, you know, small intestines. Of, like, right? Like, like yeah. they look like uh, blood cells or jelly beans. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you got, like, some bacteria down there with, like, the spike balls. Yeah, there you go. I don't know what they could be. Maybe, like, a virus. So, uh, how much of the environment is interactable? We saw in the, the stadium where you were slamming into the ground, chunks of concrete were flying up. Is that going to be a feature of every stage? Yeah, I mean, there's going to be segments in the environment that are, like, totally interactable. You're going to be able to push guys through walls. You know, flip, flip them up in the air, stuff like that. So a lot, a huge amount of interactivity to the environments. That sure. is so cool. I love you could just beat on him and then just like fly toward him to like continue the combo. Yep. So we, I mean, we talk a lot about the awesome things you can do. I mean, are are any of these characters limited in any way? When we're choosing a fight against like Trunks versus you know Vegeta, are we gonna see different abilities that are wildly drastic? Or are they just all kind of?